you're like me, you might have links on your Shopify site that are going to other websites. In my case, it's like this subscribe on YouTube button. I obviously want this to open in a new tab. I don't want this to be like people click on it and then they're taken away from my website. In your case, it might be these uh, social media icons, for example, obviously you don't want people leaving your site to go to your social media, you want them to stay here and buy something. And you know, it's not only things like this or social media icons, actually in the main menu as well. Uh, some stores, for example, a client of mine has a quiz and this quiz link goes to like type form or, or another quiz tool that she's using. So obviously that needs to open in a new tab as well. The Shopify interface does not give us an option to open things in a new tab. It would have been nice, I think, if we had a checkbox here that said open in new tab and you can check it. And then this link would always open in a new tab. But unfortunately, we don't have anything like that. Luckily, there is a very easy solution and it's very quick with just a few lines of JavaScript, we can make any external link open up in a new tab. By any external link, I mean any link that is not your domain, your dot com uh, would open up in a new tab. So I think that's a pretty good solution. Let me show you how to get it done. So firstly, you just want to grab the code. Uh, you'll find this on my website ed.codes and then go to tutorials and then find the tutorial for opening external links in a new tab. And here you can just copy all of this code. And that's all that you will need. So let's copy that next, just go to your themes page on the theme that you're editing, go to actions and then edit code to open up the code editing screen. And you want to find the main JavaScript file for your theme. These files usually end in .js or .js.liquid like that. So you can use the search to find it quickly. I'm looking for a .js file in assets. There are a few of these. But for Dawn, it's called global.js. That's the file that I'm looking for. And also if you're using any other free Shopify 2.0 theme, it will also be called global.js. And those themes are craft, sense, crave, taste, studio, uh, and a few others. If you're using debut, then it's called theme.js. If you're using another theme, then it might also be called theme.js.liquid or it might be called custom.js or it might be called main.js or something like that. It's the main JavaScript file. So once you've got that open, all you want to do is scroll down to the very bottom and then paste in that code that you got from my website, save and you're done. That's all you need to do. You can refresh your site and now any external links, including social media links, for example, should be opening up in a new tab. If you like quick tutorials like this one, then subscribe to my YouTube, you'll find a lot more. And if you're interested in learning how to actually write code like this yourself, then you might be interested in my upcoming course, which is about teaching the essentials of Shopify coding to store owners or to non developers, so that you can take more control over your store design and get a lot of features built without having to rely on apps or having to rely on developers too much. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely subscribe to my mailing list to be notified when that course goes live. That's all for today, guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.